What's up everybody, Mopped here, and today we are gonna mix up a recipe. Yeah, we are gonna do my raspberry streusel flour, that's what I call it, right? Yeah. So this recipe I made for um, DIY Down Under Challenge in May, which I didn't win, but I got, I came close. There was a lot of really great recipes. I think Mary Beth ended up winning or something. I don't remember. Anyways, there's just a lot of good mixers out there and I'm not the best, so it happens. Um, but it's still a really good recipe. A few people mixed it up, said they really liked it. I really like it. Um, so the whole reason I did it, I didn't really have like a kind of raspberry based recipe. And um, so I kind of want to challenge myself to do something a little different. And yeah, it came out pretty good. Took uh, quite a few, I think I ended up doing like five, re five revisions on it, something like that. So, oh, and then I got the drop dead digging it i like it um probably gonna use a different trip tip but besides that it's good pretty good so sorry for the lack of video editing um the program i was using is giving me a lot of crap lately so you know i gotta figure something out try and reinstall it or find a new one to use i don't know so for a little bit yeah video editing is gonna kind of be sparse so all right, let's see how this goes. So we are gonna go ahead, we'll screen share the recipe. So yeah, raspberry streusel bar by me, Mophead. If you wanna pause it, or I'll put the link down below, obviously, for the recipe. So you can go and read my little crap on it. And that's a snake, he said something. What am I doing? I have mix. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. Why is all this screwed up? And of course I can't edit this crap out. So my bad everybody. We're just gonna do 30 mil. There we go. All right. So yeah, so I'll mix it up, kind of talk about why I used what I used. So, and of course it changed everything. Awesome. All right, so FA barrel, AKA FA raspberry. Yeah, that's kind of the main raspberry I wanted to use. I just really like it. I think it's probably the best raspberry, at least that I've tried. Um, yeah, it's just a pretty good authentic raspberry. So I used it. And it's a little, a little less of a bully than like uh, Inaware raspberry. And it tastes a hell of a lot better than like TFA raspberry. So I used this at 3%. Just gonna give you a pretty upfront raspberry at 3%. Pretty, it's a decently strong flavor. Then the next is the men's cream cheese icing. Just one of my favorite creams. I really like Florence cheese uh, cream cheese icing, and I really wanted to use it to kind of help create that frosting on top of the, on top of the streusel bar. I think it did a pretty good job. So I use this at 1.5%, nothing too crazy. Then next we have Lemon Sicily. Flavor our Lemon Sicily at 1%. And yeah, this was just to add kind of a little bit more tartness to the raspberry, you know, just kind of help out that fruit aspect. So what I use at one percent. All right, next we have TFA sweet cream. Um, yeah, so this was mostly to help out the Lawrence cream cheese icing. Plus, TFA sweet cream has a little bit of a sour note, like similar to kind of yogurt in it. And um, yeah, I just really wanted to create that kind of like cream cheese type icing to go on. And what I use this at one percent. All 
Next we have cereal 27. So the challenge for this was that we could only use flavors that are available at, um, was it Sydney Vapor? It's a Australian DIY site. And um, yeah, I really wanted to use flavor art breakfast cereal and I couldn't because I don't have it. So I subbed it out for Capella cereal 27. Um, Cause I wanted more of that like kind of oat type cereal base for the crust. And uh, yeah, since I couldn't really do that. So I, I, had, I went ahead and used cereal 27, which is more of like a corn based cereal. But then I put in the graham cracker clear to kind of darken, give it like more dark bakery notes. And it still worked out pretty well. Um, you could probably sub out both of those and just use flavor art breakfast cereal. I haven't tried it personally yet, but I imagine it would pretty much have the same effect. So it's good to be able to be a little adaptive. Never know, it might run out of a flavor or something. Got to sub something else in, so it worked out. Um, so next we got TFA Sweet Raspberry, Raspberry Sweet, and I used that uh, 3% again. Um, this was just to kind of candy up, maybe not candy up, but kind of make more like a sweeter, you know, raspberry jelly almost. Not really jelly because it doesn't have the texture of jelly, but just to kind of sweeten up that raspberry, um, take it from being the flavor art one's pretty authentic. I wanted it a little, yeah, I guess a little candied. Okay. Next is TFA Bavarian cream. Bavarian cream. Bavarian cream is always good, and it adds. You always want to add probably a little bit of vanilla into your bakeries. And so this kind of gives that little bit of vanilla and it really sweetens up that frosting from the sweet cream and the cream cheese icing. And so I use this at two and a half percent. Next we have cinnamon Danish swirl at 2%. This was just to kind of help out with the bakery notes and add in just a touch of cinnamon. Um, that worked out pretty good. So I used it at two percent. So it's not going to be like in your face cinnamon, but it'll be just that little bit in there to kind of sell the bakery. And then we have TFA graham cracker clear. Like I said, this was just to kind of darken up, uh, darken up the cereal 27, bring it more away from, bring it away from that corn flake kind of crust, you know. And so we just used that one and a half percent. And then last, just a little Capella Super Sweet. Um, I don't use it very often, but I really did want this to be pretty sweet, especially with raspberry and that little bit of lemon and stuff, you know. I just wanted to make sure it was sweet enough. And so I just use that at a quarter percent. Um, you know, you could sell it pretty much whatever sweetener you like to use, but. But Super Sweet worked out pretty well here. All right, at our neck. I'll pretty much just mix everything 70-30, but do whatever you prefer. And then our BG last. All right, there we go. So if you like raspberry 
and bakery type dates. Go ahead and give this a mix. Try it out. Let me know what you think. I'm pretty into it. I think it turned out pretty good. So let's stop screen sharing. Ah, and that's it, you guys. So I don't want to keep you all too long. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I really appreciate it, you guys. Um, until next time, eat, sleep, mix, repeat. Talk to you all later.